In this video, we learn about the equations of equilibrium. According to Newton's first law, a body will be in static equilibrium or in uniform motion if there is no resultant forces acting on it. Or if all the forces are balanced, the body is said to be in equilibrium. Now, there are two major types of force system for which we have to obtain equations of equilibrium. They are coplanar concurrent force system and coplanar non-concurrent force system. Let us look at the equilibrium equations for coplanar concurrent force system. As the name suggests, it is a force system in which all the forces meet at a single point and all are in a single plane. Here, the forces can be resolved into horizontal and vertical force components. Then, for this system to be in equilibrium, vertical forces, which are forces acting upwards and downwards, should be equal. And the horizontal forces, which are acting towards right or left, should also be equal. These conditions are put in expression like sigma fx is equal to 0 and sigma fy is equal to 0. We have to assume any one of the direction of force as positive direction and take the values as positive. So if we take the force acting upwards as positive, then the force acting downwards will be taken as negative. Similarly, if the forces acting towards right is taken as positive, then the forces to the left are taken to be negative. Finally, if sigma fx is equal to zero, and sigma fy is equal to zero, if this is satisfied, then the body is said to be in equilibrium. This is it about the equilibrium equation of coplanar concurrent force system. Now, let us move on to the second type of force system and know the equations of equilibrium. The forces in coplanar non-concurrent system will be in a single plane, but it can act at any point on an object. As it is not acting at a single point, only two conditions that is sigma fx and sigma fy are not sufficient to know whether the object is in equilibrium or not. So we add one more term, the moment. As we know, moment is the force multiplied by the distance. We consider a point on the object and calculate the moment of all the forces about that point. As in the case of forces, we can consider clockwise moment as positive and anti-clockwise moment as negative. Now, if the algebraic sum of all the moments about a particular point is zero, then the body won't have any rotatory moment. So, for coplanar non-concurrent force system, the equations of equilibrium are sigma fx is equal to zero, sigma fy is equal to zero, and sigma ma is equal to zero. This is all about the equations of equilibrium of different force systems. To sum up, we learned about what is equilibrium, equations of equilibrium for coplanar concurrent forces, equations of equilibrium for coplanar non-concurrent forces. In the next video, we look at few solved examples on these concepts. See you there.